Yeah, try to tell the other 28 teams, you know, just let it go. <laughs> no problem. Um, but throughout this interview, Doc Rivers was absolutely cap captivating, and he did his best to clarify that situation on the VC show with Vince Carter and myself, but that wasn't all he had to say. So staying within the 76ers lane, Doc shed some light on the fallout of the Ben Simmons trade. Take a listen to what he had to say about his relationship with his former player. It was a lot of things has been told me and publicly now that happened long before I got there. What frustrated me was that I still think it shouldn't have been enough to want to leave. I, I just I just didn't. And I, and I told Ben that. I kept telling him that. Uh, this is this is not why you want to leave a team. This you you work these things out. Um, they didn't get worked out. And, and so yeah, we've had one talk, not a long, long talk, but we did have one good talk. Uh, ben called me uh, afterwards, which I thought was great, and, and we had a good talk. Uh, but, you know, the, the, the point was he was already leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's beautiful to hear that they got some kind of closure around this situation. We now welcome in Nets reporter Nick Friedel. That's Ben Simmons' current team of the Nets of Brooklyn. So, Nick, we'll get your thoughts shortly. I want to start with you, Matt. You played for Doc. What's your reaction to what you just heard? I think they learned their lesson last year on, you know, what he said uh, publicly after the loss in the playoffs, what Embiid said publicly. And, you know, whether he felt it or the guys felt that it wasn't enough to want to leave, Ben felt it, it was enough he wanted to leave. So I think they obviously learned from that uh, mistake that they made publicly and didn't want that to repeat with James Harden. So that's why you heard very early on a lot of positivity and we're going to get this done because they really realized that, you know, say the wrong thing and you could possibly lose a star. So obviously water under the bridge. Ben is in Brooklyn now. Now they, uh, you know, the 76ers have James. But again, I just, you know, Doc is a great, communicator, a great talker, and I just think what I took from that is they learned their lesson last year with Ben, and they didn't want to make the same mistake with James this year. Roz, I agree with Matt completely. Doc has been in this game for decades, and I have never seen a coach over and over try to get his message out publicly. They know there was a little bit of a misstep last summer. They're trying to clean it up now, and they're trying to move forward. The thing I just don't buy is if Ben Simmons had had a great playoff run and the Sixers had won the way that everybody thought they were going to, there's no way in the world that Ben Simmons is now wanting out and has landed in Brooklyn. So there are a lot of layers here, but as far as Doc is concerned, I think he was just getting back to what he knows, which is trying to spin this story the way he wanted it. Well, and that's really, to Nick's point, Roz, what – Doc Rivers has been doing since last fall, right? Since the start of training camp last year, he had the same message, which is that he believed that Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid could make this work, that he could make it work with Ben Simmons, that they could all work together and get where they wanted to go in Philly. Now, at that point, as Nick very astutely pointed out, that came after all the things that were said after the way that second round series against the Atlanta Hawks ended. And it was clear from Ben Simmons' standpoint that that was too, things had gone too far and he was not going to be able to come back and be around the team, which is why we saw the drama play out the way it did until the trade deadline day trade that saw James Harden go to Philly and Ben Simmons go to Brooklyn where he will you know potentially be playing for them next season so yeah to me this is just more of what Doc Rivers has been trying to do for the better part of a year as Nick and Bath Matt both laid out he is very good at spinning things in the direction he wants and that certainly is the view of it that Philly wants it to be which is that hey we try to make it work with Ben he didn't want to make it work. That was too bad, but we're ready to move forward with James and Joel and the team they've got now, which they think is good enough to be able to be a championship contender in the Eastern Conference. Yep, well, Doc Rivers had a lot to share in the conversation. Check out the full convo with Doc on the VC Show. It's on the ESPN NBA YouTube channel, or listen wherever you get podcasts. Tim, thank you so much for joining us. And Nick, Matt, stick around. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.